Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Bargain shopping, bargain shopping. Now, y'all know, I've, I probably said on you before about getting clothes and stuff that are, um, you know, durable and everything so you don't shop for them all the time. But that's just clothes. So there's a lot of stuff you can do bargain shopping with and get something good. I'm going to give you an example. Where I live, it's interesting. Um, I had an instance um, instance where um, when I first started on YouTube, I only had like 240 subs. and But somebody who had seen my stuff from outside of YouTube, because remember I've been around a while, called him and three women, called themselves going in on me. I should call one day. Might run and see that dude comment on something. I'm gonna remind him. And this is supposedly a dude who, you know, was down for the brothers. Mm -hmm. Yet he went after a brother with three women. Okay. But anyway, (laughs) check it out, right? This dude called himself going in on me. I mean, Doc's where I lived and everything. And he tried to say, since I had a dollar store in my area, you know, I must be in a poor area. Yet my zip code is 21015. And anybody could check it. The median household income is over six figures. And, you know, he was trying to talk about this dollar store and stuff as an example, but I've gotten stuff from that dollar store and I peeped one thing. Outside the dollar store would be like uh, Porsches, <laughs> be like Corvettes, it'd be like Infinities and all of that, BMWs, Mercedes. <laughs> Right, and it's a predominantly white area. You got you get somebody get out of that car. They're going. They're going. They would go into that dollar store and get toilet tissue. They would go out and get like uh, like holiday stuff because that's the main thing. That's the two things that store sells is like toilet paper. I mean, they got it lined up in there for a dollar. And then some people get cards and stuff like dur- like stuff they ain't gonna use. Like if you got stuff that you know you ain't, you ain't gonna keep it. It ain't long term. Why well, spend a lot of money on it, All right? And I peeped that. I was like, man, they be coming in here because like at the strip mall is in on the other end. There's a high end um, Asian restaurant. There's a high end Asian restaurant. Pe- it's normal if you go in there in a group, you're spending a hundred dollars at least. <laughs> it's high end, you know. Seriously, and also got a ballet studio um, in that same area. But when they want to get their toilet paper, they ain't spending money. Oh yeah, uh, um, like a uh, veteran, uh, a veterinarian place, everything. But. Yeah, they, they people spend good money for other stuff there, but for toilet paper, boom. You want to, like, for the stuff that you need that's very, uh, I'll say, you don't need it for much. You know it's a one-time thing and stuff. Bargain shop. Don't spend a lot of money on something if you don't really need to, if it's basic. Now, as long as it works, because, yeah, you do get some stuff in those places that can be cheap, but also pretty good. You know, sometimes people go in there and buy, like, you know, cups, stuff like that, just basic stuff, shampoo, stuff like that. That's the, really the same thing they can get in a major store, just cheaper. You know, now there's definitely some stuff you don't want to get. Yeah, you, you, you still want to make sure everything is in good shape. But always think about that when you shop. Now, you do want to, like I said, with clothes... You want to get durable clothes. With food, you definitely need to maybe spend the money. You want to get the best stuff, find the best store for that, which incidentally, that dollar store I mentioned is right next to a Safeway that has some very good food. Um, So, and also next to like a major card place, Hallmark place. But the whole point, though, is bargain shop. And then even if you, you know, you might might be getting a card just for some basic thing. You can get cards at that place. And I ain't, like, really just promoting the store, but I'm saying, for some things, think about it. You want to, like, when you spend your money, right, when you spend your money, you want to be smart in how you spend it. You don't just want to just casually just spend money just to be spending money and everything. You don't want to do that. This is a very important consideration. You don't want to do that. You want to think, you want to be very intelligent in every expenditure, even small, you know? Even a small one. I mean, because, okay, let me use the toilet paper example again. 
Now, unless you want a specific type that's soft or, you know, you got different types that's soft or something like that. Unless you just need, you know, it could be your skin. Okay, yeah, you can spend some expensive. But if you just need just some basic stuff, you know, what's smarter? Spending, what, $7.99 for a four-pack or a dollar? And that's, it, it could be anything. You know, you could have some cleaning stuff. You can get candles and stuff. That's really, quite frankly, the same. That's one thing I've noticed about a lot of candles. You can get them wherever. They still the same. <laughs> They still the same. You can get like basic stuff or like maybe some holiday stuff like, uh, you know, you might want to get some stuff for St. Patrick's Day or something that's coming up. Um, you know, you just one day. You don't want to spend like a ton of stuff on You might say, OK, let me let me get this at a uh, discount price somewhere. Indeed, that's what a lot of communities do, because I was just thinking about uh this place I know, it's in it's uh, it's in the Baltimore area. It's a place that sells stuff for Koreans. But if you know where it is, they they let anybody uh, buy stuff there. The stuff is always cheaper. The always stuff is always cheaper. You know, you want to be smart in how you spend money because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something now. Especially if you live in a poor neighborhood, you'll find the stuff is not only like not cheap, to be honest, but cost they they'll spend more money on it. It's, a, it's some slick stuff. It's some slick stuff. Like, that's one thing. And I need to do a future podcast on that. Sometimes you got to drive around a bit to find the right places and stuff. Think about it. Think about it. Like, you in, like, a place that actually has money, and they'll have cheaper stuff, better stuff, and less expensive stuff. And then you see that same exact product in a poor neighborhood, and you spend a lot of money. Yeah, I definitely need to do a video on that in the future because that's... There's a lot of slickness. Like, understand something. Let me go off on a tangent right here. Um, Pay attention to wherever you're at and how much you got to spend. Like, if you see some, like, you see a store you usually shop in, just in another neighborhood, just walk through. Walk through and just look at the prices and then compare it to what you pay at another place. That'll tell you a whole lot. But... Bottom line, though, and, you know, the subject of this particular podcast is don't don't be afraid to bargain shop. Get some good stuff. You know, find where the stuff is, you know, in your area, at least expensive. Still good, though. Make sure it's, it's still got to be quality at the end of the day. But see what you can find. See what you can find. You don't want to spend, you know, you don't want to spend, like, I don't know, fifty dollars on a like a bathroom rug or something where you could have got the same thing for twenty someplace. They same exact thing sometimes, you know. And part of bargain sh- uh, shopping is recognizing the sales and everything, recognizing the sales, uh, you know, at places you normally shop. And also too, and here's a little slick thing: be careful about that buy one get one free thing or buy one get fifty percent off thing. Because you end up getting something you might not need. You know, be very careful, like, when you, like, taking in a sale or something. Really think about, try to think about long-term how much you really spend it. Because that's a slick thing. Because uh, just real quick, and I don't usually go off on tangents on this channel, but uh, sometimes, and this is from working in retail, they'll have a product, right? And they'll say it's a... Uh, and this is how the stores make their money. Like, say you go in a uh, department store. They got some, like, high fancy coat, like, name brand coat for $400, right? That's that's the retail price without sales, right? But then they'll put it on sale and the price will go down, like, say, 50%. They go down to 200 right? So you buy it. They, that's how they get you to buy the stuff. But really, they made they made their money because they, the, they only got the coat for, like, $10, You'd be surprised. Or I say, eh, $200 coat, maybe $50. They got it for 50 They still make their money. They still make their money. So watch that. And that's another thing, just real quick. Um, catch the sales. Catch the sales. So anyway, y'all know what to do. Let's go make that money.